we're back from the Kyoto field trip. As if any anime has anywhere else to go, it's always Kyoto, right? And then, what's really happening? Last episode, it didn't really matter in terms like we didn't really develop any new character, right? It's just like we, if anything, we developed we developed a sniper. And then Sensei just kind of like gave him a little bit of therapy because the sniper was going to retire because his entire thing was red eye. And every time he'd have a target, he would always kill. But it was kind of just like a little slice of life filler moments with that character. And then the rest of it was just more bonding time with the kids. And the most interesting point is the revelation between Karasuma and the Sensei, how Sensei used to be a human, right? It's like now we know for a fact he used to have hands and feet, which kind of like answers a little bit more to the mysteries of this show. So far, I thought that he was just this like monster created through some sort of government research program and mm, that's who he is. But now it's looking like, no, he used to be a human who took on the research intentionally and is now like this. And maybe this kind of answers on what the principal said about how you sought to be a hero but had to play the villain role instead. So I'm sure this experiment was for like the sake of humanity or something, but maybe something bad happened. I'm not really sure how everything kind of pieces in like that, but getting a little bit more closer. Let's begin today's reaction. Isogai. Too many new names. Oh, that's right. We're getting two new kids. Let's see. A transfer student will be joining you tomorrow. Their looks may surprise you, but try not to make a big deal out of it. There was one kid that was like not yet ready, and then another that's coming. And in the opening reactions, we saw like a cell phone girl, right? We saw a kid that's literally doing school like as if they're doing like school from home. Or maybe it's just like an AI student. I don't know. Middle age? <laughs> Bitch Sensei is 20 years old. Mi this is middle age to you? 20 years old? That's crazy. But like, that's the thing. It's especially if there's anyone watching this shit that's like around 20 years old or slightly like under 20. Like, these dumbass kids think that life is over by 30, so as soon as you turn 20, you're unk. You're a boomer, bro. 18, 19, like 17, 16 year old kids call, oh, 20 years old, unk? Unk? Fucking boomer? Like, come on, man. <laughs> Okajima. I remember him. <laughs> of what? <laughs> okay, it is her. Okay, but she is literally like stuck in a screen, right? VTuber students. That's her giant screen that she operates out of? Hello. What? Autonomously thinking fixed artillery. I don't know how it's gonna help us assassinate Koro Sensei, but let her cook. She's got artillery. What's Okajima gonna think? Okajima is gonna be like, wait, my girlfriend to be is a screen? Do you think that he'll like transcend technology and living bodies and like? somehow transfer his consciousness into here like Kayaba and Sword Art Online, that'll truly show his resolve. So transfer student time. This is rare, Karasuma. Usually he's super composed and chill, but he's like stuttering. Hmm. Norway. Oh, she white? Yo, we got another white girl in the class? Norway. Hello. Yo. Karasama is scared of technology? What kind of guns does he have? Okay. それが、お前の教師としての契約だからな。Okay. I feel like it's gonna like open up these 
sides, the flaps will open, it'll be like missiles and guns and weapons that'll come out. Looks like a giant ass iPod back in the day. Oh, 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 oh. Calculations. Here we go. It's moving. But here's the thing, right? Like, it doesn't matter if you have all these robot art artillery stuff. None of this shit matters. You can never beat Sensei at a direct approach, right? This is another example of that. We're just wasting time. We need to, like, get him tilted, emotionally involved, make him all, you know, f like, flustered, and then we get him. Oh. Oh, that's kind of scary. If all, oh shit. So like, it's gonna just like continuously improve and improve and improve. That, that's like the scary part about like AI technology, right? Where it's just like, it'll continuously keep getting better and better and better until it realizes that it doesn't need a human. Okay. No, no, wait. It worked. It was different. Everything about that was same until it wasn't. That is now? It's only been Karma, right? Yeah. Karma's the only person that's ever made damage on Sensei. Now it's Karma and this AI. It's a blind spot. Hidden pellet. Oh, that's genius. That's actually so smart. And he, I thought he could perceive something like this, but... The blind spot by the chalk, that, that, there it is, right? It's speaking right there. He did get cocky. He did definitely get cocky. Scary. Mm. But it's not zero. It's, it's not zero, though. Alright. There is a new student in class, everybody. Please tell the new kid how it works in chat before he gets banned by me. Alright, let's continue. That's pretty good! Greater than 90? You fucking idiots! You're not supposed to tell them lies that we've already watched that defeats the purpose. Now they're gonna leave. You gotta hold them by the balls. <laughs> Come on! Guys, come on! Figure it out! <laughs> Just let him know! Don't ask for that shit. Just watch and you'll find out. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. Yo, this world, the government is hiding some important shit, man. Like, they were hiding, like, an experimentation of a monster that can destroy the fucking moon. And then there's another thing. They, they, they literally have achieved AGI. Like, what the hell? <laughs> okay, bitch sensei. Yeah, this is a bit too much. Now we gotta clean this shit up every fucking day after her. Why does she clean up? She's a robot. She should be able to clean this up more efficiently. Oh, he's actually talking. Mm. Mm. Give it up. What's the point in teasing a machine? I think, like, this is a very important line. There's gotta be some sort of reason why this student has shown up besides just trying to murder Sensei with technology. I'm sure the lesson this is going to be is how someone as robotic as her can actually be received as a human. Like, so far, her personality is super just robot, I am, kill, blah, blah, blah. But she can evolve. Maybe she can evolve personalities. Maybe she can actually be a human rather than be a cold calculating robot. <laughs> Is anyone learning, bro? Alright. Booting up. 
That's it? That's how you defeat AGI? This continuously evolving machine of killing can be defeated by fucking taping it so that the machine can't operate? Bruh. Skill issue. No. Not harming you? Gaslighting. Gaslighting. <gasps> Terasaka having a moment. And I think that he's right. Like you would think that this is some sort of some sort of like cruel bullying experience, but no. Nah. I think that he's on to something, bro. Let him cook. True. That's a bit mean at the end. Oh that I feel oh now we're bullying her. Oh. This is so mean, man. Yeah, we can't learn shit. She's just constantly spraying bullets. Now she'll evolve. And obviously it doesn't have a home, so it just like literally sits here. Damn. Zero percent. ダメですよ、親に。先生。あなたの親御さんの考える戦術はこの教室の原理にあなたは生徒であり転校生です。自分で考えなくては。協調。いや、なぜ先生で分かりますか。彼らにしてみれば、君の射撃で授業が、君が
Minus actually. Sensei broke again, but he's such a good teacher, man. Look at the distances he goes, the extra mile to make sure that even machines are somehow just like fitting into the classroom, man. What a great teacher. Mm. It's like a Disney princess. <laughs> He's not wrong. He is right. The simulation. Oh, oh the weather, bro. It's getting all stormy and cloudy to match her like mood. Oh, oh, how could you do this, Terasaka? <laughs> Terasaka in his own Terasaka, the 2D person in a 2D show, just made a 2D girl cry. How does this work? Cause like they're already 2D, but she's like 2D within 2D because this is th pseudo 3D, but to us it's 2D. This is making my head hurt. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What do you what are you saying, Megare? A woman's not a woman until she loses that third D. So he is a man of culture. He does not fuck with real humans. 3D? No. I am 2D only. <laughs> alright, alright. Megan is pretty funny. <laughs> it's his first line? I don't even know. I, maybe he's talked before, but that's, that's pretty amazing that the author literally fucking was aware enough to even say that. <laughs> Takemaishi, that's your first line? Giga chat. Giga, first line. Alright. The weather's back. The natural mood. Okay. Oh, there it is. You keep that shit in your mouth? Yep. He was sleeping. Aw, thank you. Okay, we cannot be referring to her as this, but we need a new name, bro. Autonomously thinking fixed artillery sign. We need a new name. This is way too much, bro. Oh. oh. Inside? She can pretty much 3D print, okay. At the same time, she's pretty much playing a game of shogi right now, I think, right? Look at this. She's multitasking. Oh, he actually talks. Shiba, huh? This is the Chiba. I call him the school shooter, which is not wrong. Everyone is a school shooter in this, in, in, in this you know, show, but like, you know, just long bangs, never see his face, never see him talk. He seems like a gloomy guy. Chiba, okay. How long is that? What is that? Because she since they probably fed her like data about weeb shit, but not about flowers. Everyone's bored of you, Sensei. Go away. We want our new robot AI waifu. Call me creepy. Now, is this his true human self? Probably isn't, right? But like, what if this funny scene is supposed to refer to his old self and kind of what he used to look like? No? I don't, I don't think so. But like, what if? Thank you, new name. Way too much. Kappa? Ritsu, it's nice. She has a name, Ritsu. Terasaka and the gang are the biggest haters, bro. They, 
Dude, these are the biggest haters, bro. Terasaka and his gang, like the idiot looking one, the fucking dreads guy, and Terasaka himself, they, they're just a trio of haters. I wonder what Karma's thinking. <laughs> Yeah, probably. But maybe it can't. Built her, bro. What what lab? Government? Oh. They're not down for the upgrades. No! No! Whoa. The thing has its roots in the Aegis Combat Systems AI. That sounds kind of important. You could say the same thing about Sensei. I wonder if there's any sort of overlap with whatever research they're doing for her and what Sensei had to go through. Not happening. Bitsu! This is actually sad. Hi. No. Our cute VTuber girl is gone now. That's bullshit, bro. What are we gonna have to do? We can't go against it. That's like against the rules. What the hell are we gonna fucking do? <laughs> They're gonna find the kids? It's like, nah, Terasaka, you duct tape again, you're gonna be fine. Like, $10,000 per day. Alright. Sensei should just go threaten them. Why not? Yeah, Sensei should just go and threaten the scientists. Literally, like, give them a death threat. <laughs> just make them feel a little bit of fear and then return Ritsu. Easy. Downgrade. <laughs> We ain't learning shit. That sounds like a rocket. Hmm? Flowers? Wait? Hold up. Okay. Like, it is still optimal to listen to the whims of the class and work together because that is maybe objectively the best way to assassinate. So let's cooperate and not just like ruin the class. Okay. You can just do that? The whole thing was like it has no free will. It does have free will. It's evolving? Has it always been evolved? Yes. This is your puberty. She you wanna be punished? Tom? Not at all. Am, am I a bad girl, Sensei? Nah. You're a third year junior high student. A really fine one at that, too. What do you mean, Sensei? Hmm? Hmm? Alright, 27. Bro, how the fuck do we have 27 students? What the hell, bro? I can't... Well, Karma, school shooter guy, Okajima, don't know, kind of popular guy, poison girl, don't know, popular girl, don't know, baseball, Nagisa, popular guy, Nagisa's friend, don't really know, don't really know, uh, fucking... Don't really know uh, uh, class prez and then fucking Megane. We got Megane and then Terasa. Eh, it's not too bad. It's actually not too bad. Hmm? <laughs> Never explains that. What the fuck? Is it true that adding a face will make me popular? Um. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck was that acting? <laughs> Is there a post credit scene? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, what the hell? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. What is this? Oh, what is this? It's the epilogue. Should we check this out? 
What, what is this shit? Dark near future. Oh, fuck you, Lurch. Oh my god, you just did an ad. You literally just did an ad. No, it's not an ad. It's an ad, but it's not an ad. It, it, I thought it was an ad, so I skipped ahead, but then I'm spoiling myself as the kids are basically watching Sonic Ninja through Ritsu. So it was not an ad. I don't, I don't know. It, it, <laughs> it's a story and an ad. It's, it's, it's still an ad. Is, is Sonic Ninja a real anime? Sonic Ninja anime. It kind of is? I don't know. Anyway, that, not really. Anyways, I ruined it for myself. That's today's episode. What was today's episode? New student, Ritsu. Remember, there is a second student on their way. They're not just not ready yet. So they'll probably be super special too. Ritsu is like this AI that is capable of evolving and assassinating and Terakata actually had a great moment, you know? He was a hater for sure, but he's not wrong. What Ritsu was doing was wrong, and she gets kind of corrected because Sensei goes out of his way. He always goes that extra distant distance for the kids, even if it's a seemingly robot with no free will. Sensei will always do that because he's just the best fucking teacher ever. Now, the other scientists that showed up, their masters, they did take away Ritsu parts but it sounds like she kind of like had a little bit of a backup she hit some shit in the corner right and she also has free will and she's decided that i think cooperating with the classroom is still best for the assassination so it's defying the master's will it's going through rebellious phase and it kind of shows that this machine does have free will which is a bit scary but hey it's a good thing for us and now reads to the vtuber student is in our class and that's pretty much it what the hell was you know, fucking bitch sensei doing at the end, though. I feel like this might be the thumbnail for whatever reason. I actually know the reason, because it's just fucking titties. But hey, that's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.